Hey, Liam Ward here at learntheharmonica.com. Today we're talking about adding textures to our blues improvisation. Now this is the second lesson in a series I've just started. Last week we looked at playing the chord tones and then mixing those up to start making them into a simple improvised solo. So check that out if you haven't already because today we're going to be adding some textures on top of those notes. So I'll stick those notes on the screen for the 1, 4 and 5 chord but if you need to know more about that and that doesn't make sense to you, do check the link in the description to the first lesson of this series. So what we're going to do today is add various textures to make the solo more interesting. So there are lots of different things we can add into a solo to keep it fresh and keep the listener interested. And one of those is one of the great strengths of the harmonica really, which is textures, textural variety. So the basic way we play notes on the instrument is to play single notes, just play them on their own. But there are lots of different things we can add in to make that more varied. So the first one I want to talk about is double stops. So what this means is playing two notes at once. That's the three and the four draw on a C diatonic harmonica. So this is different from not being able to play single notes in the first place because we're consciously making the choice to fatten out that sound, to dirty up that sound. So we can do that at a, a certain point in a phrase or in a solo. So it's not that you're playing the whole thing. It's that you're actually choosing to do that as part of the phrase. So you see how I've broadened out my mouth to get that uh, the uh, double stop at a certain point in the phrase. So building on last week's practice of picking one or two chord tones and trying out different rhythms of those notes, this time I'm going to add that double stop texture. So I'll give you a little example with the backing track. So I'm just going to be playing those chord tones with the double stop added at various points. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so that was just a case of simple note selection with the double stop texture added. But there were loads of different textures we could choose to add. I'm going to tell you about two more of them and then give you an example of using all of those textures we've looked at today in a minute. So the next one I want to talk about is the warble or the trill. So this is where we alternate between two notes. Instead of playing two notes at once, as we did with the double stop, I'm going to go back and forth. I'll use the same holes, three and four draw, as an example. If I speed that up. If I slow it down. back and forth, three and four draw. I have a lesson on warbles, I'll put a link in the description. But that's just another texture we could add. A third texture that we could choose to use is the octave split. So this requires a broader mouth shape than a lip purse or U block. You need to essentially be tongue blocking at this point. So you're playing two notes that are an octave apart. So for example, we would play the one blow and the four blow. Harmonic is a little bit out of tune. And I'm playing this by having my mouth four holes wide, and then my tongue goes down the middle and blocks hole two and three. Octaves, along with other tongue blocking techniques, are all taught in my full tongue blocking course. That course, as well as a full blues improvisation course, are available as a part of my harp school. 
I'm offering a free trial, so you can go and spend 30 days, find out if it's for you, and there's a link in the description to find out more about that if you want to go into blues improv in more depth, as well as all the different aspects of playing. Okay, so what might a solo sound like if I were to add in both my warbles and my octaves, as well as my double stops? Well, I'll give you a little example now. I'm still just going to use my chord tones, but notice that at this point, because I've added the octave splits in, if I were to play, for example, that one and four blow octave split, technically I'm then playing a four blow on the, in this case it would probably be the four chord, which is still a chord tone, it's just that it's an octave up from the one I told you about. I told you about one blow, so I said one blow, two blow, two draw, three draw, half step. This is all in lesson one. But this time I'd be adding in the four blow. It'd be the same if I did it on the four draw. Okay, so here's just a basic example of playing the solo with those different textures added. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that inspires you a little bit in adding textures to your solos. They are not the only textures by any means. One of the beautiful things about our little instrument is the range of textures that it can get. So do experiment, try as many textures as you can. I think it starts to make the solos sound really interesting. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like then YouTube will know to share this with more people. And if you want free harmonica lessons every single week, then subscribe and click the bell. I'm offering a free trial of my harp school at the moment, where you can get access to all of my courses, including a blues improvisation course where we go into this stuff in a lot more detail. You can also get feedback from me in the forum on specific aspects of your playing and you're joining a harmonica community of like-minded players as well. Check the link in the description to find out more about that. I'll see you very soon for another lesson. Until then, enjoy your practice. Cheers.